Hey guys, just going to do a quick Hey guys, just going to do a video on how to create a file server and some basic settings. Just going to quickly start up a virtual machine called test fs generation 2 I'll give it 4 gigs of RAM give it a virtual switch I'll give it a 500 gigabyte hard drive I'm going to create two partitions on this virtual machine so I'll just do a custom install select new and I'll give it a hundred gig for the operating system and I'll leave the remainder for storing files I'll just quickly speed up the video while this installs going to give it a password log in the server and then right click on the start menu and go to disk management I'm then going to right click on our unallocated space and go new simple volume select next next give it a drive letter of E and we'll call this volume data I will leave all the other settings as default and click click next so I'm going to set an IP address on the server I'm going to click on the start menu control panel Change the view by to small if you haven't already. Select Network and Sharing Center. Change Adapter Settings. Double click on the adapter and go to Properties. Select TCP IP version 4. Go to Properties and use the following IP address. So the network we created was 192.168.2. And the DNS is 100 so I'll give this an address of 103 will be fine and we'll give that the DNS that we created of our domain controller select close close Just checking the connectivity. All good. Okay, I'm then going to go to File Explorer, this PC, and go into our newly created E drive. I'm going to right click in here and go to New Folder. I'm going to set up some drives. So I'm going to have Home Drives. shared drives inside home drives I'll make some more folders I'm going to call it managers and I'll give another folder a name of workers and then go back to E then we'll select shared drives and create a new folder in there called The technician public staff public and we'll call it manager public I'll then just go back on to our domain controller
while that logs in I just realized I have not rebooted and given this a computer name so I'm going to go to file explorer right click this PC go to properties change settings and give it a name test dash FS for file server and the domain is test lab pop in your domain credentials select OK and restart so while that restarts I'll go back to my domain controller and I'm going to go into Windows Administration Tools Active Directory Users and Computers I'm then going to make a new OU in our test lab group called I'm just going to call that groups and inside I'm going to create some security groups the first one will be called managers the second one will be called workers and then I'm going to create some users so I'll create a user called manager uncheck users must log in password never expires finish then I will create another user called worker same settings finish what I might then do is create another OU under users called managers and create another one called workers then I'm going to go back to users and drag my manager into the managers group and drag my worker into the workers group I might also put our test client in the workers and we'll put test as well hopefully our file server has started up which it has so now I'm going to log into the file server the reason I'm putting the test lab backslash in front of the username is because otherwise it's going to log locally into the computer and then I'm going to open up the file explorer go to this PC back to eDrive and then back into shared drives might just rename this to workers shared managers shared and I won't do technician public for now I'm going to right click on our workers shared and go to properties sharing advanced sharing and then I'll give everyone full permissions okay okay and go across to the security tab these groups that are on here are for local users so I'm not concerned about them I'm going to select edit add then I'm going to add our workers OU and add managers so for the workers I would just like to give them modify permissions and for the managers I'm going to give them modify permissions as well and select apply then go OK and close then for the manager shares I'm going to go to properties sharing advanced sharing 
share this folder permissions give everyone full control apply OK OK and then go to the security tab select edit and I'm going to add workers but this time I'm going to give them a deny which means that the managers can share stuff between each other without the workers having access and then I'm going to add the managers group and select modify access I'll then select apply this is just warning me that a deny permission will take precedence over an allow so it means if the user is in two groups it will take the deny permission first select OK, OK, close we'll then go back onto our domain controller I'm now going to open up the group policy management while that's happening I'll fire our test PC up and we originally had our map network drive from the previous video but I'm just going to remove that I'm going to right click on managers and create a GPO I'll call this the managers shared drives and then on the workers I'll right click and click create and we'll call this the workers shared drive and then I'll right click on the workers and click edit drop down the preferences under user configuration go to windows settings select drive map and do a new map drive I generally run this on replace because it will add and replace if something gets changed then going to do a backslash backslash test dash fs backslash and I'm going to add the workers shared I'll reconnect it and I'll label that as the workers shared drive and we'll give that a letter of W select apply select OK then close this one off and I'll right click on the managers policy that we created and select edit drop down on preferences under user configuration again go to Windows settings drive maps new map drive change the action to replace and we'll do a backslash backslash test dash fs backslash workers shared we'll reconnect that and call that the workers shared drive as w we'll apply click ok and we'll right click again and go new mapped drive placed test dash fs backslash managers shared click reconnect give it a label managers shared drive and we'll use M drive and select apply the last thing I'm going to do is just duck back onto the file server go back to E drive now I'm, going to, now I'm going to go into the home drives and the workers right click on it properties security edit add and we'll call that workers sorry we'll call that managers and we'll give them full control apply ok ok so what I'm doing now is giving the managers the ability to check the workers home drives as well so if I just go back into the domain controller and then we'll add test-fs backslash home drives click reconnect and we'll call this the home drives we'll give that a letter of H apply OK 
and close this and we'll close the group policy management and then we'll open back up users and computers if we then go into workers and select all of our workers right click on them and go to properties we can then go to profile select the checkbox in home folder select connect select the drive letter we'll do u for users drive we're then going to do a backslash backslash test dash fs backslash home drives backslash workers backslash percentage sign username percentage sign what will this will do is create a home drive for each user that we have selected click apply it's having a sook so I'll just make sure I'm browsing to the right spot I had a space in home drive so that's why it didn't work so I'll add the space click apply okay if we just have a quick look back in that folder now we can see that each worker has a folder created we'll then close all them off and go to our test PC we'll log in our worker And we'll open up our file explorer. Go to this PC. And we can see that our worker now has a U drive, which is his home drive. And then he also has access to the worker's shared drive. We'll just go in there and create a folder. And we'll also go into his home drive and create a folder. If we then log out of our worker, select other user, type in manager and the password. We then go to our file explorer, this PC. I didn't map this guy a home drive, but we can see that he has the manager's shared drive and the worker's shared drive. If we go into worker share drive we can see the folder that the worker created and there will be nothing in the managers drive that's how you create a very basic file server and also map the drives to individual users so I'm going to leave the video there but I will go into some more topics such as data deduplication and the file resource manager in another video Okay, see you guys.